Hi YouTube, this is your tarot cards of the day for the 8th and the 9th of September 2019. So let's see what we have. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing is very important to us. I do not make no money off of this, um, of you subscribing or liking. It just does me justice to know, letting me know my, what I'm doing, what I need to improve, what I need to do. Um, I've been a psychic for 57 years. Clairvoyance, medium, ghost hunter, work the Ouija board, the pendulum. Um, I could do anything. So if you want to schedule a reading, you can schedule a reading with me at 313-401-3707. And I also talk to deceased loved ones. I could call out names. I could call out numbers. I'll tell you what the numbers mean. It depends on if the spirit wants to speak or not. Okay? You can also contact me at bornwithavail at yahoo.com. B O R N W I T H V A I L at Born Wood Avail. Okay, so God bless you, babies. So the first card that we have is Ace of Wands and it's reversed. So you're having a cloudy outlook right now. Um, you will, some of you don't know what your goals like, what do you want to do in life? And it just seems like nothing's working out right for you as far as a job and a relationship at this time. Um, you feel empty inside because you're lost. You don't know what the fuck to do. Uh, some of you have uh, planned trips, uh, cruises, um, family gatherings. Maybe it rained. Uh, there's snow where you're at. Who knows with this weather. Um, but some cancel. you had to cancel some of your plans. Maybe someone passed away. Um your job won't let you go. You had to change the date or some shit. But that's what the uh, Ace of Wands is telling me. You got the Justice card within the relationship. So some of you are going to, after everything that you've been through, you're going to weigh your options in the relationship, okay? Some of you are going to be reasonable and some of you are not, okay? Some of you are going to be sincere. Some of you are not. Some of you are going to have good intentions of weighing some of you are not. You're going to say, fuck you, get out. And you're going to get self-satisfaction from this because this is what some of you have been waiting for. You knew something was, wasn't right in the relationship and you're trying and trying or they're trying and they're getting rid of you. Okay? So you got the hangman facing me. Uh, there's suspicion within the relationship on the job. Um, there's a transition going on within your relationship and your job. A big change. Changes, because you know jobs change all the time. Some of you are going to hit, get hit with a change that's going to fuck you up that you did not know. Okay? And even in your relationship. Um, some of your lives have been going just the way you want it, but it's going to be a reversal in that. The universe is going to change that for you. Your life has been going the way that you've been wanting it all this time. Now the universe is going to step in and they're going to fuck it up. And what I mean by that is... They're tired of seeing you maybe being abused. They're tired of seeing you going through bullshit. They're tired of seeing the relationship going downhill. So they're going to come on and they're going to fuck it up. So it's okay for the universe to do that though because the universe sees everything. They see what you're going through. And the universe is everything. It's God. It's Jesus. It's everyone on the other side. It's the angels, principalities and thrones and cherubs. The high-ranking angels. The, then you got uh, St. Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael. You got all these spirits that see what's going on in your life. And it's about to change. Do you understand me? If it hasn't changed already. You're going to have a rebirth. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. You're going to have to... Some of you have been sacrificing within this relationship, within this job. And now it's going to turn around in your favor. Some of you have been mistreated in the relationship. Some of you have been mistreated on your job. And it's going to be a rebirth. Page of Cups facing me. This man is offering you something, ladies. He wants a relationship with you. He loves you. He wants to be with you. Or ladies, you're offering a relationship to a man. Now you're dealing with a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, fire sign, you're dealing with uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and some Aquarius. So... This person is just offering you their heart. They're offering you everything that they've got. Are you going to take it? Do you trust them enough? Do you trust yourself enough to take this person's word for what they're about to tell you? Um, I do know this, Tauruses. You got new people coming in your life. 
you've got reconciliations coming from a Virgo and from a Capricorn. Uh, water signs, uh, you got to get your shit together, some of you. Stop lying, stop being sneaky, but then some of you are out there searching for someone new. You're going to find someone new. Um, everybody that's watching, your life is about to change for the better for September. These are new beginnings that are happening for you, okay? Six of Swords. I will tell you this, Taurus. Somebody's stalking you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are stalking you. Do you understand me? They're going on social media. I say this in every video. I can't stress it enough. Get your shit locked up or take your account down for a while because they are really stalking you, okay? Now, Six of Swords. Um, some of you are going on vacation between September and December, September, October, November, December. Some of you are going to be taking a plane or a cruise. Um, and it's going to be about water. You could be passing over water or where you're at. You could be staying by a hotel that's got water. Okay. But a lot of you are going on a ship. Okay. Now I will tell you, I see a lot of, um, sailors going back on the ship. Anybody that's in the military, you're going to be going back and you're going to be, some of you are going to be going and some of you are going to be coming back. Okay. Um, some of you are right, are a headstrong attempt to overcome difficulties which are in your relationship. Okay. A lot of you got anxiety, but you're going to have success after this anxiety is gone. If you decide to get rid of this person, you won't have any more anxiety. Uh, Ace of Cups. Uh, the universe is offering you everything that you want. Great abundance, money, fulfillment, perfection, joy. They're even giving you fertility. The women that can't have babies. You're going to find out you went to a fertility. You're going to have babies, two, three, four. Um, some of you don't even think you get pregnant and you're going to have a baby. Okay? You're going to have a fullness about yourself. You're going to be happy, overjoyed. Um, there's going to be beauty and pleasure around you. Okay. The favorable outlook looks excellent for you. The ace of coins. Some of you are perfectionist. I know that I am. Your house has to be clean. I mean, it's got to, it's got to be perfection. Um, and it's got to be perfection within your relationships. If there's got to be bliss there. There's got to be money within the relationship. There's got to be ecstasy. Um, Especially for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. If you're not good in bed, you're out the door. Um, and I will say that water signs are very good in bed. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, very romantic, passionate. Uh, will do anything to please you. So will Taurus. Um, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... But a lot of you are going to experience spiritual growth within this time, within September, and prosperity. And um, your last card is the Eight of Coins. Keep building that money. Keep stacking that money. Keep putting that money in the bank because you're going to need it. You understand me? Because I see some pink slips coming out. Um, I see some layoffs. Uh, maybe you might have need it for a rainy day and say, oh my God, I got this money in the bank. I didn't know I had that bill. Okay. There's going to be a commitment coming to a lot of you. Somebody wants to commit to you. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have three to four people coming back. The rest of you, uh, you have two to three people coming back from your past that want to get with you. Okay? Keep stacking the money. Keep stacking it. This is Born With A Veil. God bless you. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is so important that you do. God bless.